everyone, this is Dawn. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make these cute little boxes to hold hand sanitizers. So these will fit both sizes, the rounded one and also the angular uh, shaped hand sanitizer bottle. So I'm going to use images from the Sweet Fruit stamp set. And I'm going to begin by showing you how to make the assemble the box that holds the hand sanitizer. So you're going to need a piece of cardstock cut at two and a half by 11, and then get your scoring stylus out and just use the track in your trimmer. So I'm going to move it over a half an inch and then score, and then I'll flip it around and start scoring at one and a half inches, two and a half inches three and a half inches, six and three quarters inches, and seven and three quarters inches. Okay. All right. So I'm going to be using thin cuts. These are the stitched ovals, and this one is one and a quarter inches tall. And it the stitching doesn't matter because uh, I just need the cutout size of this oval. And I'm going to position it kind of over the one and a half inch score line. It's okay if it cuts part of that line and right at the top of the half inch score line. And then I'll run it through. Okay. So I'm going to fold along all of my score lines. And see how that oval kind of goes partway through that one fold line. And then I'm just going to burnish them down with my bone folder to make those folds nice and crisp. And then I'm going to take a piece of score tape and place it along that half inch line. Okay. Super strong tape. And then what you do is you can, I'm using the, um, the markings on my Versamat to square everything up. So it's going to be a one inch square box. So if you place the back of this, uh, the sticky score tape towards the back of your box at the one inch line, it will be straight and you'll get a one inch square and that will fit your hand sanitizer. So it fits both of them. Okay, so closing your box, there's two ways you can do it. One is with Velcro, and I'm using a retired product. These are the old hook and loop dots, and they're adhesive on one side. And you can get Velcro in the sewing uh, section of uh, craft stores. Um, and then I'll have another option at the end of the video for another way to close your box, okay? So I'm just putting a little Velcro dot on the inside of the flap and then right uh, below the, the space where you put the hand sanitizer. Okay, now we can decorate our little box. I'm using paper from Eat, Play, Love, and this is cut just a little bit smaller than that flap so that I'll have a border of lemonade. And now we can start stamping. So I'm gonna use lemonade and Sundance and I'm gonna stamp the lemon. So I'm going to stamp the solid lemon in lemonade, and then I'll stamp the detail over that with Sundance. Okay. And then I'm going to stamp the slice, and this is the one that's almost all solid. And then I'll stamp the detail with uh, Sundance. And those will be cut out using the coordinating thin cuts. And then I'm going to stamp a couple of these leaves. And I'm stamping the base in green apple and then the detail in clover. And those I will need to uh, hand cut, uh, fussy cut, because there is not a die. That leaf goes on the cherries, so that's where that part of the die is. So I'll just fussy cut the leaves out. Okay, first I'm going to run these through, use uh, the lemons through using the coordinating dies. And 
and then I'll fussy cut the leaves. Okay. I'll speed it up super fast. I wish I could fussy cut this fast. <laughs> so these little boxes, they're super cute and they they make nice little gift add-ons. You can do in a gift basket or just need a little gift to to give. It kind of makes your hand sanitizers a little more fancy. <laughs> okay, so this uh, ribbon, it's topiary uh, chevron ribbon, and it's also retired, um, but you can use whatever you have on hand. Check your stash and see what kind of ribbon you have. So I'm just going to put some of that at the base, and then I'll just tie a knot and add that with some glue dots. The easy way to add ribbon. And then I'll add my lemons. So I'm going to add a large lemon with Tombow, and then I'll pot the other one with foam tape. And then I'll add in the little leaves for some detail. So cute. So I'll have some close-up shots of this at the end. And then I also made another one, this same style with the Velcro closing with the Apple image. So I'll have pictures of that as well. So there's my little box. So that's what it looks like open. And then you can kind of see it from the side there. Okay, so this is the apple. I used black shimmer trim and a wood heart that I colored with a shimmer brush. And that's what it looks like inside. Okay, so this is the other way that you can make your closing, all right? So I've assembled the box the same exact way that I did the yellow one. And now I'm going to cut off a half an inch off the front flap, okay? So I'm gonna stamp out a little sentiment it says, you are so sweet. And this one is in Glacier. And then I'm just going to trim around this sentiment. I'm going to create a little rectangle and trim it as close to the stamped image as possible. So I'm going to have a little rectangle when I'm done. Okay. And then... I'm going to take some foam tape, a line of foam tape, and I'm going to place it right at the base of where that cut edge is, okay? And then I'll put my sentiment on there so it kind of creates a little place for that flap to tuck in, okay? And that's what keeps it closed. So it's kind of like a matchbox. Okay, so now I have another piece of the E Play Love paper, and I'm going to put that on the front flap. And then off screen, I've stamped and cut out the cherries. And I'm gonna pop that on the front with some foam tape. Keep this one simple. Super cute. So all these supplies, with the exception of the hand sanitizer, of course, <laughs> can be found um, in my online store. I will make a list with links in the description below. And you'll be able to do a little shopping so I appreciate you watching my video today. I hope you give the pro this project a try. If you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button. And thanks for watching.